If you would have asked me the question, which state leads in child population growth, Idaho would not have come to mind first. But supposedly, it leads the U.S. in child population growth, and the kid demographic has shrunk in most states. Let's get into this article. 35 states have fewer children than they did five years ago, a situation caused by declining birth rates nationwide, but also by young families migrating across state borders in search of cheaper housing. Even in the 15 states that gain children, all but North Dakota experienced greater growth in adult population, meaning children now make up a lower percentage of residents. In states where the number of children has declined, school officials are facing the possibility of teacher layoffs or even school closures when the pandemic aid expires next year. A decline in school enrollment could provide short-term cost savings and might benefit children if there were more resources to go around, but it bodes well for future states for future state workforces. If the number of children is part of a broader population decline, there will be additional fiscal, economic, and political ramifications, such as diminished representation in Congress. The states with the largest drops were California, Illinois, and New Mexico, where the child population declined by 6% between 2017 and 2022, according to the Census Bureau. Idaho and North Dakota saw the largest increases at 4.4 and 4% respectively. In Idaho and North Dakota, annual school enrollment has increased over the past five years, except for temporary jobs due to the pandemic. But Idaho is bracing for a decline starting in 2025 when the children from a historic 2017 baby boom in the state started turning 18. Idaho has become known as a picturesque and affordable place to raise children, says Jap Voss, a planning professor at the University of Idaho in Boise. He relocated from Florida with his three-year-old son in 2012 um, when it was in the middle of nowhere. Boise is getting a lot of new residents from California, and northern Idaho is seeing more movers from northern California, Washington, and Utah. It might be for ideo ideological reasons. People are looking for a more conservative lifestyle. He added that some people have left Boise as it has grown more crowded. Throughout Idaho, housing prices have risen rapidly. Writer Leah Hampton is moving from North Carolina to Moscow to teach at the University of Idaho, but she says she's having trouble finding an affordable house. Even without children, her husband is working remotely. Moscow is definitely a great place to raise kids. It's like a 1950s movie up here, but more diverse and left wing. The population growth is definitely declining. The fertility rates are dropping, and this will have impacts on various states, but it remains to see remains to be seen how it will impact the United States. So a part two from the same article is talking about Florida. Another fast growing state with a meager growth in the number of children is Florida, where a decrease in births and an increase in deaths over the past five years has created a negative drag on overall population. According to census, the state had almost 25,000 more births than deaths in 2017, but there were 40,000 more deaths than births in 2022. That's a huge change. Still, Florida had the third highest increase in child population between 2017 and 2022 at 2%. One reason, Hispanic births in Florida have continued to increase, unlike Western states. I wonder how that would change as they are running the Hispanics off. In fact, births are increasing for white, black, and Hispanic mothers in Florida, helping to offset some of the increasing deaths among the white population. Unless births increase substantially because of the aging Florida's population, the state will likely see a natural decrease for the foreseeable future with all growth coming from migration. So we shall see how that continues with Ron DeSantis and his, um, and his bills because he has tons of bills and these bills are kind of negative and pushing people out, not bringing people in. Y'all jump in the comments. Tell me what you think. Like, comment, share.